Learn from an attorney the first step you need to take to really stop bullies. Kids, get your parents. They need to see this. Hi, I'm Stacy Storino, an attorney since 1998, certified life coach since 2015, and the leader in legal coaching that turns people into effective advocates for themselves and their loved ones when there are bullied, special needs, or both. Woman 101 stands for wisdom that turns victims into victors. Now, let's get down to the first step to stopping a bully. Stay tuned until the end of the video so that you can learn about a method to stop bullies after all else fails. Yep, there is a method. Okay, so I've helped people escape bullying, stalking, harassment, assault and battery, and so on for years. I've helped kids and adults in school and out of school. It's been nearly 20 years of me doing so, and the advice hasn't changed from 1998 to the current time, okay? So listen up. I don't care who they are. I don't care what they're doing to you. The advice is get away to safety and report them immediately to the nearest adult if you're the bullied student. Then insist on calling your parents and getting them involved ASAP. I don't care if it's one bully or multiple bullies. I know you don't want to and may fear retribution, but trust me, in most cases, I found that retribution does not come. And if it does, you report them again. As they escalate things, the school will have to escalate their punishment or be, at some point, found negligent by the court system. And they may have to pay up. Oh, it's true. There's case law on it. I'm not kidding. And if you don't trust me, bullies are addicts and their abuse of you will only escalate if you do nothing about it. I've done a video on this, so check it out. So yes, actually report the bully, both yourself in person to as many school personnel as possible, and then in connection with your parents or guardians, ASAP, your parents or guardians must formally report all incidents of harassment that occur from other students in writing, electronically or via paper or both. But no matter what, be sure to include proof of receipt for that communication before it's sent. Who do they report to? Let's start with both the teacher and the principal. What if a teacher or other school staff member harasses a victim when they're trying to report bullying? Well, your parents or guardians should similarly report that in writing to the teacher themselves, yes, the principal, the superintendent, and the school board. Oh yes, make a stink and document it so that the family can use it as evidence. You see, the law is there to protect citizens from abuse. So sooner or later, the bullies and even the bullies' families can be forced to stop juvenile detention, even outright prison time, and can even be made to pay money for what's been done. And although the bar to successfully sue a school is pretty high, if it can be proven that the school, by virtue of its staff, violated the Davis test, I've done an entire video playlist series about this, then the school may be held liable and may have to pay too. But if victims don't report abuse and collect all of the evidence they possibly can along the way, the abuse will just continue when it doesn't have to. So that's why kids have to tell their parents or guardians and so that they can, with or without an attorney, stop the bullying and sanity. This way, whether the school is completely cooperative, but the bullies won't stop anyway, or the school just doesn't want to get involved, or anything in between, in one sense, it doesn't matter. The parents can take steps to shut the bullies and even their nasty family members down, and my enemy remedy system shows them how, step by step. 
Why suffer any longer than you have to when you can actually teach those trolls a lesson? If you do nothing, things are going to get worse. If you do something persistently and consistently to fight the bullying onslaught, sooner or later, one way or another, you'll win. Gaining a support system that exists both on the school campus and off of it can keep a bullied kid safer. And when all else fails, it's time to call in the cavalry, meaning having at least one adult who can serve as your advocate with the school system and, if need be, the police and the court system. You can't ignore bullying. It won't go away. Every study and survey shows that avoidance has no upside when it comes to bullying. And I've got a system called the Enemy Remedy that can help you or the ones who love you out big time. So make sure you check out the link down below in this video show notes for more details. <clears throat> I would love to hear from you. Have you ever suffered bullying and not done anything about it? Why or why not? Can you see now that reporting your bullies might actually cause them to stop? Share down below and let's have all of the Woman 101 Wise Owls love up on you and give you support. And if you like this content, please remember to support me on Patreon so that I can keep providing new material on a regular basis to help victims of bullying everywhere. Remember, Woman 101 stands for wisdom turning victims into victors. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video. And share this with anyone you know who could use some support. Woman 101, be wise with your heart.